Hello and welcome! Today in this video we'll show you how to backup your files and the entire OS using special software. Let's go! Sometimes you may accidentally delete all your data. I'm sure you don't want this to happen. The best way to prevent it is to use a backup. To do it you need special software. I will use a program called Minitool Shadow Maker Free. All links will be in the description. Go to the official site and click here. It also has a free version by the way. Open the file. Here you can select the language and here you can select the path. Then click install now. Wait until it ends and open the program. Here you can see all your disks which are connected to your PC. To create a backup you must press here. Now you need to select disk and partitions or folders and files. If you will select disk and partitions it will create the full copy of the disk and after restoring you will be able to boot from the disk. In simple terms you will be able to boot from your operating system. You can restore it on the same disk or another. If you want to backup only your files or folders you must choose this. I want to backup my entire disk so I click here. For example I want to backup one of my disks which has 120 GB of capacity, Windows 10 installed and some files. As you can see it has a photo, a wallpaper, a video and a document which includes important information. So I click on the disk and select all of this. Then I press OK and now we must select the destination folder. It can be any of your disks, even the drive you want to create a backup for. Let it be for example disk E, then click OK. Of course it must have a free space for the backup, then press OK. If you click options you can schedule creating your backup. For example you can do it automatically every 8 hours. You must remember it won't create every new backup, it will add changed and new files to your backup which was already created. So it won't take a lot of space on a disk. Add the compression, add the comment, email, you can shut down your PC when the backup is completed, add a password, etc. To create a backup press backup now. Ok now you need to wait until it ends. The time depends on disk capacity, so please be patient. Ok now let's imagine that something happened to a disk or operating system and you want to restore it. What do you need to do? You need to click restore and here you can find your created backup. As you can see I have two SSDs. The first with 120 GB of capacity which we have created a backup for and the second with 240 GB. And now we have two ways. The first we can restore it on the same disk. But how we can do it if we have already booted from this disk or it was crashed? In this case all you need is to find the second PC find a USB flash drive and click here, tools. You can create a bootable USB flash drive and did all actions I will show you next. To create a bootable USB flash drive click media builder, then connect a USB flash drive and click here, then choose media destination, in my case this is drive J. Be careful because the data on the USB stick will be destroyed, click ok and wait until it ends. After it's finished you need to boot from USB stick. To do it you need to access the boot menu. In my case I have Asus motherboard, so I need to press F8 while PC is turning on and select my USB stick. You can do it in UFI mode or legacy, it doesn't matter. And here as you can see we have the same menu. All you need here is to add a backup. Select destination path, here it is, press OK and click restore. Select backup version, click next, select all of this, click next, next and select the drive you want to restore a backup on. So in my case this is disk 2. Then click next and remember all your data on this disk will be lost. And then press OK to restore. Ok now let's boot from the disk which was restored. And here it is, as you can see we have the same document, the same photo and the same video. And all programs the same places. And the second way you can restore your backup on any other disk. For example let it be my second disk with 240 GB of capacity. Press start, wait until it ends and now once again you need to get access to the boot menu. Then select another drive, in my case it was SSD with 240 GB of capacity. And here as you can see the entire copy of Windows 10. And of course I have here are my files, text document, a photo and a video. 
Let's open this PC. But we have only 100 gigabytes of capacity. As you remember, our SSD has 240 gigabytes of capacity. So what happened? All you need is to type CMD, then type disk part, type list disk, then type select disk. In my case, this is disk zero. Create part primary format fs equals ntfs quick and assign. And here, as you can see, the lowest capacity will appear. Also, you can check other tools. Clone disk, for example. This tool will do the same actions, but without creating a backup. It's very convenient, because you don't need to reinstall your operating system, copy your files, etc. You will get the same operating system that you had before. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. Please leave in the comment section. Did you succeed with creating a backup? If this video helps, press the like button and subscribe. See you later. Bye.